Daily Student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing one of the most requested videos and that is talking about how I lost 40 pounds in two months. Now, guys, I always put a disclaimer that every single body is beautiful and every person is going to lose weight in completely different ways. What I absolutely love is sharing my journey with you guys to give you tips on what I did and the way that I saw results just so you can mix it into your own daily routines if you'd like or just interested in hearing my my journey itself now number one thing I have to tell you guys I always have to describe the fact that I struggled to lose weight for so so many years but sometimes it was almost a struggle to lose two pounds three pounds one pound I've had really really hard moments at the beginning of my weight loss journey in terms of losing weight and I finally lost weight to a place that I was so so happy with a place that I'm so so happy with and that takes a lot of trial and error but these are the things that I've taken out that have really really worked so so well for me that I I'm so excited to share with you guys today. Now this video I'm going to be dedicating specifically to talking about the workouts and the workouts that really really helped me because I'm a strong believer that a really really good workout was my absolute key to success and especially going from someone who really didn't like working out to absolutely adoring it. I'm so excited to give you guys the workouts that gave me the best results. I like to see results. I like to see things happen. I've tried what feels like every single workout under the sun and I'm so excited to share that with you guys in this video today. Before I go into that, I always like to talk about food. What can you be eating to reduce hunger, to stay on track, to kind of get the best results at the best and most efficient way possible? Number one thing I always talk about is your protein and fiber. Now fiber is going to be so important to add into your routine because if you're ever feeling overly hungry, I always know if I have a really hungry day, if I have a really hungry moment, I need to increase my protein and fiber. I was 30% more likely to lose weight faster if I ate protein than if I didn't. People who eat protein, that's a known statistic, they lose weight faster. And it was honestly going from reading that on a piece of paper to actually actioning it. I saw those drastic, complete, amazing changes. Protein is the holy grail. Protein is my saver. And always increasing your protein bit by bit by bit throughout the week allow me to see those changes I have. If I have days where I'm like, okay, I don't have a lot of protein in the things I've eaten. Protein bar, low sugar. Making sure you, I check the sugar amount on there, keeping it low. Protein uh, making a protein shake, all these things, you've got 15, 20 grams of protein in one go. If you make a protein smoothie you don't really like, drink it quickly, but you've got your protein in and it's nutritious. Um, it just makes such a difference and my weight dropped down so quickly. I remember emphasizing to you guys, I lost about 10 pounds in the first week. Although 10 pounds can be a lot of water weight, it was still a significant difference and it does keep going down. So it's not like that water weight just came back on. It did, it did keep going down and down and down and down week after week after week so that 10 pounds still really did make a difference to my motivation and the things that I did there are also increasing protein increasing fiber there are so many ways to increase fiber now even just going on to Amazon getting your fiber you will realize when you look at health things why we have to increase our fiber fiber is going to reduce your hunger so heavily it's going to reduce it I'm not going to be snacking I'm going to be doing a workout and the calories stay off, the pounds stay off, so I need to be eating the right things. Second of all, I had to learn very quickly that my stomach is a fist size, which means carrying around a massive water bottle every day. I saw uh, a post once where a doctor was saying uh, he was shocked at how many people don't actually drink water, and it's not just because of keeping hydrated, which is so important, but also the chemical processes in the body, such as calorie burning, such as fat burning, happen faster and more rapidly when you're drinking water. So you don't want to, I didn't want to be doing all this work actually not taking place in the best possible way because I was reducing my water intake so I upped my water every single where I go now every single where I went every single where I went that first week in my early stages of my journey I carry water around with me everywhere I go my stomach being this size the more water I drank the less food I had to eat the less water I drank the more food I would eat it's really really so simple and it works so well and in fact nine times out of ten I now fill up on just water alone so when I'm feeling like oh I could have a snack sometimes your body just genuinely is dehydrated and that's its response to being dehydrated stress in turn the happier you feel because you're hydrated the less you're going to eat 
it make as someone who used to eat so so much in terms of not being able to control my snacking it's honestly a lifesaver and that's what really really helped me keep the food down keep the calories down keep myself consistent now i'm going to be heading on into the workouts you guys know what me losing 10 pounds in one week was astronomical to me it was honestly life-changing and it really allowed me to understand how quickly my body works with the right workouts i know i could be doing 40 minutes of the wrong, wrong workout and 10 minutes of the right workout it only only takes 10 to 15 minutes a day 10 to 15 minutes a day for me to see the results that I did to see that 10 pound drop in one week I'm going to be going through all those workouts now now first of all this workout is absolutely phenomenal if you guys want to feel a burn if you're not ready for a burn don't do this workout this will burn like crazy I remember doing this workout and walking down the stairs the next day my body feeling so stiff my legs were feeling stiff everything was feeling stiff I knew it had worked and it was burning like crazy the sweat that was dripping off my face everywhere I can feel the fat and the calories crying off and that's what I absolutely loved about this workout you guys know my legs and my stomach area was one of my biggest insecurities and my biggest goals in terms of my weight loss journey I didn't want thigh rub anymore I wanted to be able to wear my shorts my hot pants my crop tops and this workout took me exactly there like I say to you guys the way my body finally lost weight after not being able to lose weight for so long this is what burns it's movements like these that make you realize you know need to be working the right areas you need to be getting the correct burn doing personal training doing crossfit you really understand why it's so important to be doing the right burn and this will make you burn i was burning like crazy and the pounds just fell off and kept on going i did a before and after video doing this one actually where i showed you guys the difference when you see the weight physically visually come off it's the most satisfying thing and most motivating thing and it's workouts like this that really really pushed me to where i wanted to be now the next work workout was in fact a thigh video you guys know I always love to make a big push for my thighs because I wanted to get my thighs into a place where I didn't have thigh rub thigh rub is so painful I know I use it as my um, uh, visualization for you guys to know where I was at at the beginning I really really felt uncomfortable with my thigh rub because it was painful not just because I wanted to get into shorts but because it was painful and I kid you not for the first time my thighs were I really had a big push with this workout it burned like crazy the way that my body works is it's so stubborn but this workout I was burning I was sweating I was pushing it really really pushed me and catapulted my results to places I'd never been before I had a pair of jeans and you guys know when you have thigh rub putting on jeans and being comfortable jeans in the house let alone outside is so so uncomfortable but I went from that to wearing jeans constantly in the house wearing my shorts and this workout really really pushed me to that level you need to add resistance eventually during the workouts because because that's what I did in order to push my calories and push my burn. I noticed that the more resistance I added, the less time I had to spend on the workout. So if I was doing a workout for 20 minutes, I would only then have to do a resistance workout for 10 minutes because the resistance intensifies it to give my results more in a shorter period of time. And I could calculate that during weeks as well. What the results that I would see in a month, I could have seen in two weeks if I added resistance, if I added weights, if I kept on pushing in that sense. So resistance also does shorten the amount of of time you see results uh, it allows you to see results faster that's what I saw in my journey losing 40 pounds in two months resistance resistance is your best friend especially on those days where I felt exhausted I would add resistance and I can do less and I'd be seeing the same drop the week after more and more each week i always emphasize to you guys that i was still walking every single day 20 minutes walk adding that cardio is kind of like you're building the muscle to burn fat in the workout and you're pushing it off faster by doing the cardio not only that but cardio is so relaxing and the more time i thought oh let me go on a walk the less time i know that i'm eating the more time i spend outside walking the less time i know i have to the less i have time to eat and that really allowed me to rewire my brain chemistry um, in terms of what I wanted out of my day to day rather than sitting on the sofa I've got plans I've got plans with my phone and my headphones and my walk I've got plans and it really really allowed my weight to drop off faster I think adding the walking had 100% contributed to a faster weight drop and all those combinations together really really brought together the successful weight loss journey that I had and really I will do that every single time forever and ever and ever using that combination now guys I hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget it's also important to have your food right and calculating for you what you should be eating 
eating every single day because it's going to be different for every single person. Um, so always, always incorporating that as well. You guys know I love intermittent fasting and there's a lot of weeks where intermittent fasting will allow me to see quicker results as well. You don't have to do intermittent fasting. These tips allowed me to see significant results even on the weeks where I didn't do, do intermittent fasting. But number one key is making sure you are eating the right foods because if I hadn't eaten the right foods my sugar levels would always be high because I was consuming high sugar in my snacking which would mean I'll do a workout and want to eat later. But having had a full day of protein and good foods, um, good carbohydrates, later in the evening I'm not hungry at all. In fact I just want to go to sleep because I've done a really hard workout. It'll, uh, it'll knock me out of sleep really. Um, now guys I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!